Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be hitting up a, a, a cool looking dwarf I uh, 3D printed uh, over, uh, I think it was a while back. But anyway, finally getting to them. Really cool little model. Keeping the color count down uh, so it's not a wide array of colors. Uh, you can just use some simple colors. I think we're using green, uh, orange, and gray, and, and you know some whites to make it go up and down as far as dark and light. Uh, and, and I believe uh, some brown to, to drop some stuff down. But anyway guys, check it out. We're going to get a fast paint in this week. Uh, we're going to get this dwarf done. I'm going to keep the color, town, color count way down. Uh, green for the loincloth, red for the beard, and grays and, and whites for the, uh, for the armor. And, and that should be it. Uh, so that should be, you know, three major colors. Orange, gray, and green. And then, you know, some flesh color. But th that's no big deal. But so the major colors are orange, gray, and green. And, and they should look fantastic together, especially the way this is placed. Uh, you're going to have gray on both sides of the beard. You can have green down here, which is going to make that beard pop out as well. So looking forward to that. So the focal point for this particular model is, I believe, is right here. The, the loincloth through the beard. Look at that beard. That, that's sturdy and strong. It's not even the metal or anything. It's the face and it's the loincloth. That's, that's what's most, most, most important on this particular model, in my opinion. Anyway, so we have it mapped out. Let's get to it. So that's pretty much for the skin. Uh, all we used was, uh, let's see, I used two. I used Vallejo model uh, light flesh, and, and for the base tone, I used uh, medium medium flesh tone uh, model Vallejo model color. Uh, they make a pretty good, uh, a really good uh, flesh line, you know. So anyway, what we did is we started with the dark, and then we mixed this with this, and then we did straight this. So. You know, simple as always. You know, you start with the base, mix the the highlight with the base, and then you can go as far out from there as you can, all the way to white. So you can mix a little more light in, a little more light in, and go all the way out, and keep your mid tones uh, intact. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll probably throw uh, just a, a flesh wash on there. Let's see where is that. I'll be doing a flesh wash just to you know blend the the the, the little tones together. Not much. So that's it. That's it for the skin. He's got his fists and his face. So now let's uh, move on to the, uh, I think, let's do the, the armor. Let's do the armor next. I want to get a, a base coat of uh, rubber down. I'm going to use a real light coat of rubber, a uh, real thinned out, watered down rubber to get my base. And maybe see if I can get the Zenithal to do the work for me. If not, we'll, we'll take it all the way out. All right, let's do it. What I've been doing off camera is I've been going back and highlighting, edge highlighting with white on some of these high points and some of these edges. So when I do put the watered down rubber on it, it will it will show through right here it, like I want it real a br lot brighter. So I don't have to use a bunch of layers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to end up letting the zenithal and this white paint come through as the highlight. Uh, we're going to give that a shot and see how that works out. Should work fine, but uh, you never know. Let's give it a shot.
Well, the Zenithal didn't come through as much as I wanted it to, but it still left me a great map uh, of where I'm going to go end up putting the highlights. Uh, you know, I, I could leave it at that. It's coming through in person. You can probably see it a little better, but the, the, all that where I did the white etching and the highlighting, it, it, it comes through. It's still drying a little bit, but uh, it's there. But I, I really like the highlight, the, the real sharp look uh so i'll probably end up doing that with some rubber highlight and some other colors probably uh not many just just some basic grays and maybe some ivory but uh i, I think that looks really good for now yeah, so yeah as i sit here and watch it dry it uh, it, it's turning out really nice it's actually uh, the rubber's drying a, a, a mat and it's it's getting a little a little more transparent and the the highlights are actually showing through it's turning out real nice. I'm really happy with it. I was a little overzealous before uh, because the paint's wet and, and you got to let it dry to get the full effect. And sometimes it's it's night and day. Anyway, looking pretty good. Uh, we're going to move on to the, the uh, probably the loincloth. All right, we did some uh, we did some green work. Uh, we did a little bit of the camo green. We did the base with the camo, and then I went and mixed some of the regular green in with the uh, the camo green to get a second base almost in, in in some of the recesses. And then I added a little more of the green, and, and we did a little brighter just on the higher areas. You can you can see right here and here, here, and then we we stick to the higher areas here. It's a different green. You can see the dark root recesses, and then I'm going to continue to move out to towards white for these, as usual, to to give it some little wear and tear and some some highlights. And then we will be moving on to the beard after that. So we got to get these higher areas a little bit more green, and we'll move from there.
think the green work's done there. Real simple. We just used a couple of the greens, uh, camel green, green, and yellow, and just slowly moved out. And you know, I think we're good. Maybe even a little wash in the crevices, maybe. Uh, you know, pretty simple. Kept the color count down. All right, let's move on to that. Uh, Actually, let's move on to the armor. Uh, I want to finish up the armor. Let's get the highlight. Um, the zenithal didn't come through as much, and, and the ivory didn't come through as much as I would have liked. It's great. It can move on. I can put some shade on it and you know, darken some of the crevices with some, some darker paint, and, and it will look fabulous. But we, I, I'd like to take a little more. I, like it, I want it to pop a little more. So I want the armor to be the frame of the face and the green. So... The armor and the green are going to be the frame for the red beard when we get there. Orange, red. We're going to make it. We're going to make it pop. But it's it's going to look really nice. So far, these colors are, are working really well together. I, I really like these colors. These are honestly some of my favorite colors um, to use. They're so easy and they're very forgiving and they're very rewarding at the same time. So uh, let's uh, let's move on to that armor. Let's get the Ended highlights. Ended having going. to go back and do his his gloves or his his half gloves uh, that's kind of attached uh, to the shirt, the whole green ensemble there. Um, so I ended up going back and I did the same steps that I did with the cape or the loincloth and the and the sleeves with the uh, to the uh, the fist deals there. So just wanted to get that in there. Same steps, same process. Hey, like and subscribe. I did quite a bit. It's it's probably tough to see on the camera. Maybe not. I can't, it's hard to see when I'm recording sometimes. Um, but I did highlight. I didn't go all the way out to white. I all oh, I used ivory and the the rubber highlight mix to get the armor. And then I'll probably go back in and do a wash in the deep deeper crevices, or maybe even use a darker gray or a or a rust color. I have a I have a nice uh, what is it here? It's a rust shadow. Works really well. Thin it down. But uh, yeah, looking good so far. Um, I think next, uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do metallic on those boots or I'm just going to end up doing it gray like the armor. I'll probably do it like the armor just so I can get it done off camera real quick. You don't really need to see me do that. Um, so uh, so I'm going to bust those off, bust those off, bust those out, the, the boots uh, um, behind the camp, behind scenes, and then I will start on the beard. Get that beard going. The beard, the, 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 the major focal point, right?
Well, there we go. Frame the face with green and gray armor, right? There we go. Right, I did a little uh, non-metallic metal here. I didn't do it all, you know, super professionally crazy. I, I just kind of stuck to the to the gray and the light grays all the way out to white, just to give it that that metal gray metal used look. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Dwarf action, beard action. There we go. <laughs>